Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're taking a look at the Gigabyte Z87 G1 Sniper M5. Now um, these are aimed at the the gamer end of the market. I've not got any 100% um, uh, prices on these yet but as you'll see as we start to talk about stuff the spec level on these is quite high so I'm personally not expecting these to be ridiculously cheap but we never know because uh, some of the other brands especially with the M80X ones uh, they can have quite competitive prices but it's all kind of speculation at the moment because uh, I've got I've got no idea on pricing because they're not willing to talk about it yet essentially uh, now obviously this is M80X but even though it's M80X, if you have a look, we have got three uh, PCI Express full length uh, slots. Now the idea would be with these um, is obviously you can run uh, Crossfire or SLI on these, but there are a lot of triple slot cards now, which would mean this one would be covered. And that's generally where you would have the two slots. They've added an extra one down here because with a lot of... Uh, 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 cases now you have got that extra slot or two um, uh, in the case for argument's sake the uh, Corsair 350D you could have a card in here which would cover this slot this cut this spare one for breathing and then you could still get a dual slot card down here and it would all bolt in in the 350D perfectly fine now um, I can't talk to you about the way the uh, PCI Express um, connectors are split up within the chipset. But what I can tell you is that the uh, PCI Express lane up here, that's actually wired, wired for 16 times. As in that's, uh, it's f you know, fully wired there. And these ones are actually just half wired. So eight times. But like I said, I can't talk to you about the way that correlates. Uh, with the the way the chipset and the PCI Express within the chipset lanes all kind of split out, so it's complicated. But you know, I mean, I can tell you that if we look careful, well, you can see just that you can see that just about here. You can see that it's not fully wired. But anyway, so right, free PCI Express. PCI Express 1. Uh, one of the main features on the uh, Sniper stuff now is this. Uh, uh, they've got uh, OAMPs that you can change. And it does come with an OAMP upgrade kit. One additional OAMP included. I'm not sure on the details of that OAMP, but we'll find out when we actually start doing the reviewing. We've got this, what does it say on it? Soundcore 3D down here and then they've got this very simple similar to the genie they've got like a light trail around the board or around this bit and it's all meant to be shielded and there's uh, special uh, uh, caps that they've used for you know to improve the audio and stuff and around the back we can see that we've got a lot of gold the uh, audio connectors on the back are gold plated there's gold plated connectors for the two HDMI's and the display port but we've also got a uh, dual link DVI at the back there we've got a PS2 for motherboard I know a lot of gamers still use um, PS2 um, mice or keyboards normally one or the other but we've got two USB 2's at the top and then four USB 3's and then gigabit Ethernet we can also see around the back here this line is the the kind of light up part of the PCB so you'll be able to see that we're going to have a light down there and then a light round there now heat sink you can see that we've got the uh, skull logo from the other G1 killers got a little beret on sorry I'm burping got a little beret on uh, with the, the the knife in his hand it's a fairly kind of standard G1 killer design now the reason why I'm shaking all over the place is I am in the light tent but I'm sat behind my tripod. Um, so I'm trying to do this the best I can with what's available. Anyway, LCD poster there. Obviously, if you're overclocking and stuff, 
um, because because of the power regs, you can see that there's a few extra ones. This would be a relatively good overclocking board, um, so that can help you when you uh, if you have any issues, you know, to uh, diagnose any problems. Onboard power switch. We've got a couple of switches up here. There are some uh, voltage readouts here that you can use for your uh, uh, multimeter. Should you want to use them, uh, reset switch, uh, CMOS clear switch, BIOS switch there. And it says SB, but I'm not sure what that's for yet. Um, right, two CPU, uh, where well, it's got CPU fan and CPU optional fan headers up there. And then if I'm having a look around, we've got system fan one there where my thumb is. System fan two and three there. And I believe that's your lot. So you've got two, I'll put it up where you can see Tom, two, CPU, I can't even stretch around, I'm hugging the flipping tripod. Two CPU fan headers up there, system fan one, system fan two, system fan three. Now we've also got two front panel or internal USB 2s there. Front panel USB 3 up there. It is eight power CPU power up there. Uh, there's six SATA ports down this side. Again, I can't talk to you uh, too much about uh, what they are. It's focusing on the uh, logo. But yeah, I can't talk to you too much about what the uh, SATA connectors are. But yes, so we've got that. Now the uh, the heatsink design, essentially they're, 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 they're carrying like bits of colour over the top of the heatsink. So I think Gigabyte really nailed it with the designs this time. Obviously the green was really popular with the gamers, uh, with the old snipers, because they started doing these with the 1366 socket. Um, I've still got one actually, I've still got the, uh, the, the Assassin. Um, so the, the green has proven to be popular. I do think that the audio is going to be uh, quite good for a lot of gamers because not everyone wants to buy a sound card. So having this type of thing on board is going to be great. Got plenty of options for PCI Express and where you want to, uh, you know, kind of locate your graphics card or graphics cards. I don't think you could really ask for a lot more from a MATX board, to be fair. And I do really like the look of it. I do really like the look of it. Um, I'm sure there are going to be many, many of you now that are, are going to be saying, oh, I could build myself a black and green rig. I could build myself a black and green rig. And let's face it, there are quite a few nice MATX cases out there now. Uh, the 350D is an instant one that comes to mind because of that massive window in the side. You can obviously, um, it is water cooling friendly, but even if you did want to have uh, one of the NVIDIA cards, we've always got the 700 series uh, going to be coming up pretty soon. We don't know what the heat sinks are going to look like, but they normally they normally have a green flash on them somewhere, so you could have a Nvidia card in this, and then have loads of room underneath for breathing. Have a H100i uh, in with your um, uh, in a 350D, which means you could have great temperatures for overclocking and stuff. You could make yourself a really nice looking uh, system with this and obviously but still have that small form factor as well uh, but anyway guys this is enough of this preview I'm, uh, I need to get cracking on I've shown you the uh, OAMP kit that you get in there although there are going to be other ones that you're going to be able to um, uh, buy so you can tune it to your own audio needs and stuff like that but for now this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you out.